How y'all doing? Shorty Vez back here with another first look shoe review. And today we got the Air Jordan Retro 13 Squadron Blues that are releasing this February 9th. And they are going to retail for 170 bucks. One thing that you're going to notice about this shoe is the colorway is completely different. And a lot of people are comparing it to the altitude because of it being one base color and just having a lower sole with the trim. The shoes are all squadron blue. And that suede is, and the, and the leather are both squadron blue. That suede just makes the shoe look lighter just because it's suede. This shoe isn't navy blue at all. Um, I'm going to do a comparison of colors, man, because uh, it's going to either be a, a make or a break. Uh, the shoe, a lot of people, such as myself, wanted to get the shoe because of the fact that you can rock it with a lot of U of M stuff. I mean, I'm from Michigan, I go to U of M, and I was going to wear it to represent. Um, the shoe itself has the tumble leather, not like the most recent release of the bread that came out in January, and also not like the leather that was on the 13s from a couple of years ago. This is the actual tumble, tumble leather. And I think it shocked me that they put the tumble leather on the shoe that's not a retro. I mean, it's a retro, but this isn't an OG colorway. But the grain of leather on this shoe is just outstanding. So if you if you into that, man, this that alone might get you sold on the shoe. But as you can see, I'm comparing that Yankees blue, you know, because everyone knows how that color looks. And you see, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. In person, you're gonna see that the that there's an even greater difference. I mean, the camera didn't pick up on it too well, but. <laughs> I'm going to also grab a Lakers hat and I'm going to show you how it compares to the bottom right now. And you're going to look at this video and you're going to say, well, I don't see a difference. Well, that's just because it's a camera. The contrast is going to be a little bit different. Uh, to give you a better idea, the um, Lakers yellow is very similar to the U of M yellow. The yellow on the shoe is kind of almost like a old fashioned muscle car yellow almost. It's like U of M and the Lakers yellow is almost like a it's close to that gold goldish mustard <laughs> container looking yellow. And the shoe has a yellow that's almost like a sponge. I mean, I tried the shoes on on feet with my U of M gear. I mean, it's not a big deal once you're actually wearing it, but if you're one of those people that's gonna be a, a neat freak about it, then you're probably gonna not want the shoe. But the shoe is, a lot of people are gonna sleep on this shoe. I think this shoe isn't gonna sell out. It's gonna sit online for a few weeks. But in person, with the sun popping and some cargoes, these are gonna be it. I'm gonna hit y'all with a couple of quick pictures. Uh, this is gonna be one of those shoes that has to grow on you. <laughs> Once you see people wearing them more and more, you're gonna be like, damn, I should've copped that shoe. But with the, the Retro 3 Quick Striking and all the other shoes going, coming out around this time and all of the deals going on on things besides shoes, a lot of people are gonna most likely sleep on this one. And it's gonna be one of those ones that if you get it, you're gonna be happy you got it later on. Probably not right away. Um, also, I did a review on uh, Valentine's Day 5s that are coming out this Saturday, and I also did one on the Kevin Durant 5s. So y'all go to my actual channel and check those out, and I will be hitting you guys with more content. If you like what I'm doing, thumbs up the videos, and subscribe. It's free, and it helps me out. Y'all have a good one. Be safe out there. Peace.